This ain't about civil rights. They ain't giving black people what they really want. What's that? Hey, I was made in America. That's why I'm out here saving America. Power. Black power. To America. You know, uh, this film is what's happening, and there's so many people that are talking about it, including myself. So I'm going to start with a, uh, uh, a basic question. How do you get ready for a role like this? I mean, Malcolm X, you know, uh, so much on the, about this guy. How did, how did you prepare? That was something that I had to, like, you know, very, very quickly work out in my mind because the, 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 the casting process for this one was a really, was an, it was an interesting one. Um, Regina just had a few weeks essentially to get her Malcolm and, 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 you know, and there was 12 days over Christmas to prepare. So like, it was a well, it was a bit of a whirlwind preparation. I think uh, what sticks out the most for me was probably, you know, listening and repeating, you know, it sounds kind of boring, but you know, there was a lot of listening and a lot of repeating. I, I sort of absorb as much of the essence as I could. Uh, but I think the, the you know, the, the auditioning process with Regina, so much of it for me was about trying to convince her that I was excited and confident about the possibility of showing Malcolm in this really sort of unique, you know, way, this unique setting. As you learned about Malcolm X, what stood out to you the most about who he was? The most important information for me in, in, in this, you know, preparation for this film was com the conversations I found out that Malcolm had with Dick Gregory, dear friend, dear friend of his. And Dick said that, that Malcolm had mentioned to him around this time as he was sort of, his relationship with the Nation of Islam was ending and his life was about to become in serious danger that he felt weak and he felt hollow and that no one knew the torments that he went through. And, and Dick really said that the, you know, the lacerating demagogue that we all know on YouTube, those images was really a character that Malcolm slipped in and out of. But, you know, deep down and in private, he was a, a sweet and bashful man, a good humored man, uh, a, you know, a father, a husband and, and a kind, decent human being who was, you know, responding to the oppressive circumstances that he was living in. And and we're talking about a man who who put the fear of God in white America and, and put his life on the line for black people. Uh, so, you know, it was just a deep dive into the, into the, the, the wicked and wonderful world of such a complex, rich and beautiful human being. To America.